It's an improvement. James Mundell manages the senior housing along Federal Street. Monday, he watched as the mayor personally filled the potholes plaguing their road. It's a big deal because you do a lot of damage to your vehicles and somebody can walk off street and trip. Youth workers joined in as a couple dozen holes were filled here. The effort is part of Mayor Brandon Scott's 90-day service sprint, a seasonal effort that keys in on improving services across the city. We're going to be pushing them and pushing the community to let them know about the issues so that we can get them handled in a quick and efficient manner. Filling potholes is just part of the plan. Another major aspect is covering up graffiti across the city. So far, more than 3,000 graffiti markings have been removed. More than 80,000 vacant properties and lots have been mowed. And more than 22,000 potholes have been filled. We know we need to make sure that we have roads that are drivable and passable, and so filling potholes is going to always be important. We're also, um, during this sprint, focusing on abating vacant lots. So whenever you see those overgrown lots, we're really focusing in on those um, vacant lots as well. The goal is to deliver on services people need the most in a city with an ever-aging infrastructure. To come out myself and do this work means a lot to me, and it shows to everyone that lives in the city that if I'm doing the work in my neighborhood and your neighborhood, then we all have to be doing that work. Also, encouraging folks to call 311 if they see an issue in their neighborhood. In Northeast Baltimore, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.